Hi, my name is Rich, and I'm here today to give you a demonstration of NewCash. NewCash is an open source accounting software program that's available for free download on the internet. And you can get this application from two different locations. You can go to newcash.org or go to sourceforge.net. SourceForge is a website that provides a variety of free open source software programs and they target individuals and small to mid-sized businesses looking for safe, dependable, and robust software at no charge as a solution to the high cost um, off-the-shelf programs offered by businesses such as Intuit or Microsoft. Um, this particular program was actually developed to rival Intuit's Quicken, um, but they have added many features um, for small business accounting, and um, we're going to take a look at some of that today. NewCash, first of all, runs on many platforms. If you have Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, or other Unix platforms, you're good to go. For the most part, if you have a computer that runs, good chance NewCash is going to work for you. NewCash has a lot of features and I'm going to give you an overview here and then we're going to demonstrate some of the more basic transactions today. Um, with new cash you can schedule transactions, you can do mortgage and loan repayment features, there's a lot of small business accounting features built in, financial information importing, home banking, transaction importing, multi-currency transaction handling, which is good if you're going to be doing international type of business. You can do your stock and mutual fund portfolios and get your fund quotes, and you can also do um, double entry bookkeeping. So there's a, a real wide variety of um, services that are available. One of the nice features about um, New Cash also is it has an excellent save feature. It reminds you from time to time to save your work so that you don't lose your transactions, and you can program that to come on automatically, do it yourself. Um, just a nice little feature that, as you can see here, pops up. When you first go into the application, New Cash gives you a tip of the day. And what the tip of the day does is it gives you some basic common sense items that um, help you learn the application. If you're interested in learning more, you can page forward. If you learn something in the past, you don't quite remember how to do it, you can also page back. So it's at your control as to um, how you get these little bits of wisdom. Once you get a little more comfortable with the application, if you don't want to see this tip anymore, you can turn it off and you can turn it back on by going back up to the help menu at any time. Additionally, NewCash has an excellent um, help manual that's available in a um, HTML format. It starts out with a nice menu option if you know specifically what you're looking for or if you want to use it in tutorial form, you just go to the next button and it'll walk you through an introduction, how to use the help, how to get help, and if you need any other technical support. And then from there, it'll take you through a walkthrough of getting started and how to use the application. So it comes with a lot of support and you can actually contact the development if you run into any problems. So um, they're there to support their application. Okay, when you go into the application, um, what we're going to look at first is the toolbar. The first three items are your standard file edit view, which are common to most browsers and most applications. And as we're all pretty much familiar with those, we're going to skip that. All of your menu items to the right are application specific, and that's where we'll be spending our time today. And um, we'll go through some of the actual transactions involved in some of these uh, menu items. The first one we're going to look at is our actions menu and this is where you schedule your primary transactions and you can do some of your online actions like any balances and things like that. So we're going to look first at the transaction editor. With the transaction editor you get a list of the transactions that you set up plus you have the ability of creating new transactions as you need or to edit or delete them. It also comes with a nice calendar that runs anywhere from 1 to 12 month view range. 
And on this calendar, you'll notice some of the dates have yellow dots. Those are the dates where a transaction is going to occur. And by simply clicking on a date, you can see um, what transaction or transactions um, are coming up on that particular day. For the individual transactions, by double clicking one, um, this is the window that comes up that allows you to create, modify, or delete a particular transaction. You have the ability to create transactions in advance, um, remind yourself as they're coming up, and set up the frequency and how long the transactions will last. So it's all very user friendly. And then on the template tab, it gives you all the details of the transaction and you can add as many steps as you need um, to that. You have the ability to um, delete transactions here, enter in individual pieces to that transaction package. So um, that's what you get there. And as you said, you can have a lot of different transactions on here. The, the window um, gets a scroll bar once you have more than, than the four um, space that's provided there. The other thing that Actions does that's very handy is it lets you do a mortgage and loan repayment wizard. And with this wizard, it gives you the ability of step-by-step -step setting up your um, loan accounts, um, how much the loans are going to be for, all the details, and it walks you through um, whatever you're going to be doing and setting up the type of loan, um, interest rates, when they're going to start, how long they're going to be, and takes you all the way through. Are you going to have escrow? Do you pay the taxes? All those little details that um, you don't have to keep track of because the application keeps track where you're going to be making the payments from and um, where you want to put it. It's um, very user friendly and um, gives you all the details that you need. So that's a nice little tool there. Our next um, item that we're going to be looking at is our um, business menu item. And what this is, this is actually a group of ledgers. You'll have ledgers for your customers, vendors, and employees. And um, they're all built very similar, so there's a nice uniform look and feel to them so you don't get confused with um, what each one's going to do. Let's take a look at some of these. With your customer ledger, you can create new customers or find existing ones. You can associate invoices or jobs to that particular customer. On the Find Customer pop-up, very intuitive. It has a very nice search. You can search by ID numbers, names, contacts, um, and instead of having to scroll down through a pile of, of accounts, you can do a nice easy search and it brings up a nice little pop-up window here with all the particulars for your customer, the billing information, shipping, and any additional notations that you want to add. In addition, you have your vendor. Same thing there, you can create vendors, find them, associate bills or jobs or process payments for your vendors. Once again, you have a nice, easy search criteria, just like you had with the, um, the previous example. And you have your account information and all your particulars along with notations, payment information. And for those who are running businesses that involve employees, we have an employee ledger. You can create, find employees, set up vouchers and process payments. Once again, nice search, find your employee, and then all the details. For multi-currency, um, depending on where you are, if, or if your person wants to be paid in some other, let's say Australian dollars, for example, you can put in all the details and keep track of it that way. You also have sales tax tables um, and other bill processing to get you a little more involved. We're not going to get into that today. Our next tab is our reports. And what would a business be without a report? Um, New Cash gives a wide variety of modifiable reports that makes it very easy to um, assemble the information that you need for your customers or any other reporting that you're doing. Um, assets and liabilities, budgeting, business, income and expense. Let's take a look at a cash flow, for example. 
with this um, reporting, it gives you for a pre-selected date range, your selected accounts, where the money's coming from and where it's going to. And it has nice navigation as well. For example, if you want to go to a particular account and look at more of the details, you can do that. And then you don't have to start over. You just close that and it takes you back to where you were before. And it gives you all the, the details. So nice navigation with your reports. Another feature of reports is you have to send them to people. And UCash has a very, very friendly exporting process. With export, you can um, in your file and you can um, save it wherever you want. In this case, we'll just put it on the desktop. What this does is it creates a um, HTML file that um, lets you um, email this information to somebody. You can attach it to a document. You can store it in your own files. HTML is a common, easy to use, easily read by many. Um, types of platforms so it's very robust in terms of getting your information sharing it or storing it so it's a great tool on the um, reports type of option another feature that new cash has that's kind of common to a lot of internet sites but gives you the advantage of not having to go somewhere else to get it is your um, financial calculators financial calculator lets you figure out for a loan amount or interest payments, um, how much your payments are going to be, um, what rate you would need in order to achieve a payment, um, all the, the intricate details of, of doing a financial calculation, um, continuous payments, when you're going to make the payments, and it does all that calculating for you. So this is a, a pretty common tool, but it's built into the application so that you don't have to go out and search for it. So as you can see, um, with this application, um, it does a lot of, of different types of features for you. And we'll just go ahead and you know, refresh our, our list here there. Um, you have a variety of transactions, financial importing and exporting, home banking, um, different types of currency, stocks and bonds. There's really not a whole lot that this particular application isn't going to do for you. Once again, you can go to newcash.org or sourceforge.net, which I highly recommend because they have a wide variety of tools. If you do a little looking, you'll probably find other applications that meet your personal or business needs. And the best part is they're free. So this is Newcash. Give it a try. I think you'll be very impressed. Thank you.